Okay. This is going to be third attempt, so fingers crossed that it works. Uh, so this is going to be a video about how to use Panopto within Canvas to record a presentation. And uh, this will be for a PowerPoint presentation. It could be uh, almost anything, though. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share my whole screen with you so you can see everything going on. And you can see that I'm in, oh, I need to get in student view. So you can see what you'll see when you log in. And uh, I'm going to go to Panopto videos. I'm going to create a video and I'm going to do this in Panopto capture. There are other options there as you can see. And uh, if you, you can check your uh, audio here, you can see the green bar there, which means that you will be able to hear it when you actually make your video. Got my video here, which you can see. Uh, maybe there's another option for you, but not for me. And here I'm going to share my screen. I'm gonna share the entire screen so you can see what's going on. And uh, now I'm going to go to record. And when I go to record, it's going to give me five seconds and I'm gonna be over here in PowerPoint and what I can do is during those five seconds, I'll go into PowerPoint mode and then I'll go into full screen mode. And in full screen mode, uh, I should start at the first part of my presentation. I will then do my presentation, implementing asynchronous at home labs, blah, 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 blah. And from there, I'm gonna go through, I can cycle through my slides, I can go back, I can, uh, use pointer options. I can get a laser pointer in there so I can point to things. I can get, and I'm uh, right-clicking here. I can get, oh, I can never find that part. Oh, well, there we go. Pointer options include other things, but we'll stick with this for now. Keep going through your presentation. When your presentation is done, you can go, uh, back to Panopto. So I'm going to go back to this, go back to Panopto and end, stop recording. You'll see this. And this is, tells you that this is one of the videos. You can share it. You, there's lots of things you can do here, but I'm going to click on manage access and it will take me here and there will be a link and I'm going to copy the link. And then I'm going to go over to uh, the assignment itself, which is one of the, the options that I have. And let's see, I'm in student view. Oh, I'm not in student view on this page. So I'll get back in student view. See if I can do this. Boop, boop. Keep that open. Should still be in student view. So uh, let's see. Oh, I went to everything pen up to, I copied my link. I'm going to click out of here and now I'm going to go back somehow here to my, well, I might have to go back to here. Mm. All right. I'm going to close a couple of things. Boop, boop. Well, I mean, yet. I now have to leave student view. That's what I needed to do. And now I'm going to go to my course. I'm going to go back to student view. I'm going to go to modules because now I just have to turn it in. And that's not that bad. But what I have to do is I have to go down here to the assignments. Week 12, presentation for HHR lab. Uh, I've submitted this already. I've got my link there. I'm going to try again just to show you. Go to web URL, paste my link, and submit my assignments. And then uh, I'll leave student view. And you can see that uh, this is what it looks like on my side. I go to speed grader, test student, that's my name here. And it has a video here. And when I click on it, I can now play it. And what I can do is during those five seconds, 
I'll go into PowerPoint mode and then I'll go into full screen mode. And in full screen mode, uh, I should start at the first part of my presentation. I will then view my presentation, implementing asynchronous at home labs, blah, 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 blah. And yes, there it is. There, I'm gonna go so that the, is uh, how you do this. Back. I uh, can, let me stop uh, that. And that's what it will look like when you do it.